สวัสดีครับ Testing is expanding while cases continue to dwindle. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm JP Mastanta, and it's May 7th. Let's get started. Reported cases continue to dwindle in Thailand as three new patients brings the total for Thailand to just under 3,000. Out of the 2,992 cases nationwide, just over 92% have fully recovered, with no new deaths announced today. 39 provinces have not reported COVID-19 cases in four weeks. In Phuket, it's five days in a row that we have not had any confirmed COVID-19 cases announced, with a total steady at 220, 183 of whom have recovered and a death toll remains at three. The most recent, an Australian hotel manager from Kaolak, which was reported yesterday. Meanwhile, the government is saying they plan to expand coronavirus testing to 400,000 from the current level around 230,000. The criteria for testing is also expanding to include flu-like symptoms with no fever and no loss of smell, with increased testing for high-risk medical personnel and other essential workers as well. And officials have rejected the notion of widespread testing. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Patong Hotel and Restaurant Businessman Prabki Sin has called for urgent measures by the government to help people in Patong, both those suffering from not having any income and for businesses, so they can start providing jobs for the community. In a live interview earlier this week, the son of former Patong Mayor, the late Pian Ki Sin, Prab called for the urgent deployment of soft loans for businesses, especially in the tourism sector, to help operators keep skilled workers and stay in business. He also called for a skills development project for the tourism sector so that when tourism does eventually resume, workers will be upskilled to cater to tourists, making workers more valuable employees, using this time to improve worker skills. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Recent scattered heavy showers across the island have helped only a little to replenish the island's water reserves as the focus remains on using private water sources to supply water to residents. PWA Chief Graysor Mohammed said for the situation to be considered normal again in Phuket, the volume of water in the reservoirs have to be at least at 50% capacity. The Klongkata Reservoir in Chalong is at 10% of capacity and that's the healthiest of Phuket's three reservoirs. The Bangnyao Dam in Sri Sutorn is at 7% capacity and the island's main water reserve, the Bangwad Reservoir in Katu, is just at 4% of capacity. Private water sources are being relied on to supply residents across much of the island and water is even being delivered to parts of Rasada, Kokeo and Phuket Town, where communal tanks are relied upon, as some areas haven't had any running water since January of this year. A new pump station has been installed in Sri Sutorn, which could boost supply to the mains network. But much more is needed, and with the coming rainy season, Chief Greisorn says it will reduce the problem, and plans are in place to store raw water to reduce potential shortages later on. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Thanks again for watching us as we do our best to provide you with the news that matters. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.